last year. We try to prevent Hungary in winning with such a big margin. So actually, this is uh, the first time that they meet at the European Championships. However, at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, Hungary did play against uh, Malta, and the Hungarians went on to win that encounter by 12 goals to nil. In the qualifier of the 2019 World League, Hungary managed to win at home and away as well by 24 goals to eight. So there's the Hungarian roster once again. Seven players coming, so more than half of the players are coming from the Hungarian champion and the current champions, the winner, Ferenc Varos. Three coming from ORC, two from Solnok. These three teams are the participants of the Champions League season as well. And one player, Robert Hosnyanski, with that uh, great comeback, representing Eger. So the players play at home in the Hungarian Championships. That's a team talk in front of the bench, and that will be followed by another one in the water. Dina Svarga, the captain of the Hungarian team, keeping it. Well, Hungary started against the Turkish team. They defeated the Turks by 19 goals to 5, and then came the big derby against the Spaniards on day 2 of the men's tournament. 11 all, so a tie. In the end, the Spaniards had the lead, but Hungary managed to make an equalizer, and they even had the chance in the last couple of seconds to win that contest, but it remained 11 all. Regarding the Maltese team, they, defeated, they were defeated by Spain, 23 goals to 7. And they were also defeated by the Turks, 13 to 10. So that means they don't have a chance to qualify for the eighth final. Well, for Hungary, the goal is, of course, the 20 goal margin. To clinch the first spot in the group is the Dutch referee and her colleague from Serbia, Ivan Rakovic. Diana Dutil Duma representing the Netherlands. So, in case of a smaller victory, Hungary all clinches spot number two here in the group and will play in the eighth final against Germany, the third best ranked team in Group A. So, now the first we move, and once again, Malta in the white caps and Hungary in the blue caps, and they have the first possession. The number four cap, Gergő Szalánki, managed to reach the ball first. So they have the first possession and they need all goals. They need to be concentrated throughout well, the whole game. It's already a long pass and the ball is empty. But no goal. Nina Schwarga denied. They have the rebound and there's an exclusion from the multi side. And the ball was inside. Yes, so Hungary takes the lead. Somehow they managed to push the ball over the goal line. So only 28 seconds into this game, it's Balázs Erdély, the 29-year-old forward of the Hungarian team, who takes the lead. He's Varga and the save of uh, Grigsti. And the exclusion foul coming from Medino Zamit. And that's a great save by one of the defenders of the Maltese team. Tomás Mertz noticing that uh, Hungary takes the lead, but they need plenty of more goals and they need an impressive defensive performance as well. Well, I met uh, here Zoltan Szabó, who is in front of me, one of the experts of the Hungarian national TV, former Champions League winner with uh, Ujpes Budapest, and he said, Hungary mustn't concede more than five times, otherwise they won't have the chance to win by that margin, by 20 goals at least. 
So that's why the defensive play will be also important for Hungary. And almost goal number two. Once again, Erdei with this attempt. And that's a great save. The first one in this match by Nikolas King Grigsti, the Maltese goalkeeper. And once again, Erdei after the corner throw. We have still five seconds left on the clock. Borga back to Erdei. Six seconds left. And the great block by the Maltese. So now a chance for them to make an equalizer. So now the number 11, Ben Plumpton, the best Maltese goal scorer so far in the tournament, scoring five times in the first two matches. And of course, the number seven, the captain, Stephen Camilleri, is also a member of the team. The surprise top scorer of the 2016 European Championships in Belgrade. And the Hungarians with the possession and the captain, Dina Schwarga, pushing forward. Still Varga. And that's an ordinary foul, so free throw for Hungary. Now Paul has asked for the ball. Vamos, Paul. And Paul scores! That's an action goal for Hungary. And it's 2-0. Two, 2 minutes and 32 seconds into, into the first quarter. So Hungary is on its way. To reach their goals. There's Norbert Hoshniansk on the right side on the bench. Next to him, Silad Janšik. And every generation is represented here on the stands. Great crowd here in the Duna Arena. Galea. Varga with the foul, and Galea tries to pass the ball to the center forward. But here comes Balaj Erdei. And the center forward lost his cap. But the referees hasn't warned him, hasn't warned him so far to replace it. Varga. Now Paul scored the second Hungarian goal. Only five, now only four seconds left on the clock, on the shot clock. Vamos with that free throw, and he scores in the very last second of this offensive play. And it's 3 0 for the Hungarians. Marton Vamos makes it 3 0. Also a player of Ferenc Varos, just like six other members of this national team. There's Zoltan Kos next to him, Raimund Fodor, Olympic champions next to each other. But many, many great champions, Olympic world and European champions on the stands here and this fantastic European championships. So a free goal lead for Hungary. Little more than four and a half minutes remaining on the clock in the first quarter. Aurelien Cousin gets the call. Jordan Camilleri. And the pass to the center forward. No exclusion, just an ordinary foul. And the lob shot. Almost goal number one for Malta, but Victor Nagy and the Hungarian team survives. Halfway through the first quarter, the Hungarians are now pushing forward to score goal number four. And that shot goes over the crossbar. 
Lena Schwager missing the target. Another chance for Mata to score a consolation goal. Now 12 seconds left in the shot clock. The Hungarians look absolutely concentrated. And that's real unlucky thing for the Malti is that the Hungarians have to take this match absolutely seriously to finish the first spot in the group. Varga. And Varga scores this time. Goal number four for Hungary. Now they are doing what they have to do in this situation for the joy of the Hungarian supporters. The former best player of the world. When in 2019, another Hungarian player, Marton Vamos, was among the five best players in the voting of the Lenin Awards. And then Europe's national federations and lands officials, members of the bureau and the various committees, voted the continent's best in five disciplines. And in men's water polo, it was Marton Vamos who finished fourth with 8.3% of the votes. Italian Francesco Di Fulvio won that uh, voting. Free throw, three seconds. Remaining, remaining on the shot clock. Still one second. But now the Hungarians have the possession. And one of the Maltese players is left behind. So. And the chance to score goal number five for Hungary. And they do that. Five nil. There's a celebration on the stands. Now Tomasz Schwarz knows there's still a long way to go to reach their goals. So once again, an action goal by the Hungarians. No chance this time for the Maltese goalkeeper, Grissi, to save. Norbert Hosnyanski, the player of Eger, also on the score sheet. For the fifth time at these European Championships. Still two minutes and 22 seconds to go in the second quarter. In the uh, first quarter, actually. Galea. Plumpton. Back to Galea. No call. No foul on the center forward, Matthew Summit. Paul. Inside the last two minutes of the first quarter, Zoltan Paul, and he scores again. For the second time in his game, two attempts so far by the Hungarian number seven, and two goals coming by him. That's how the Hungarians managed to the ball from the Maltese and after this quick counter attack Zoltan Paul makes his second six near for Hungary Steven Camilleri the captain Plumpton Galea Plumpton and that's a clean tackle. 
Tamás Mezei. He managed to steal the ball from the Maltese this time. And we are heading now for the last minute of the first quarter. Bosniacki. That's a great save by Grigsti. Missed chance now for Hungary. Now the last minute. Pace. Malta is yet to score in this game. They managed to score seven times against uh, Spain on day one of the men's tournament. Ten times against Turkey, but that didn't turn to be enough to clinch at least a point as they conceded a total of 13 times and one last offensive play for Hungary in the first period. Varga. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Poshnyanski. Amezei. No call. Only one exclusion foul in the first quarter. Coming from uh, Dino Zamit. And then it is saved in the end by Viktor Nagy. So the Hungary, Hungarian team is on its way to... Only three attempts by the Maltese team. All of them turned to be, of course, unsuccessful. Ten attempts by the Hungarians. Four missed, but they managed to find the back of the net. Total of uh, six times. And the Hungarians also won the second team off. Erdei. Mohertz. Erdei, Vamos. Erdei, only seven seconds left on the shot clock. And it's a great save by Grixti. Save number three. And that's going to be a corner throw for Hungary. Another 20 seconds for them. Mohertz. Vamos. Vamos gets the call. Zalanki. And Zalanki scores. Gergő Zalanki, brother player of Ferenc Város, was unstoppable in this situation. And that's goal number one from him in this match. 7 0 for Hungary.
No chance for the defender and for the goalkeeper, of course, Grixty at all to save this. It's a free throw for Hungary. But a good steal, a uh, free throw for Malta, but a good steal by the Hungarians. Balázs Hárai, the center forward. Zolánki. Zolánki is pushing forward, and maybe another chance for him to score. And he does that. Gergő Zolánki for the second time on the score sheet. And he looks powerful, he looks unstoppable. Two attempts and two goals, actually two action goals by him. Here's the steal by Balasharai. And there it is. An excellent finish by the Hungarian number four. Eight nil. So it would be so simple to say that Hungary needs to win every quarter by at least a five-goal margin, and then they will reach their goals. And they are on the perfect way to do that. Zalanki once again will push it forward. Mohertz. As the second exclusion foul of the game. And this time it's the number 10, Aurelien Cousin, who leaves the pool. Six on five for Hungary for the second time. And Zalanki once again on the score sheet. Three goals coming from Gergő Zalanki in succession in the second period. 9-0 for the Hungarians. Over the head of uh, Nicolas King Grixty. That's the celebration of the bench. Szilard Janszik and Tomasz Mezei. In the background, you could see the other Hungarian goalkeeper, Choma Fogo. Well, this match is not really about uh, the Hungarian goalkeepers, I'm afraid. There's a steal by Dina Schwarga, who pushes forward now. Steve Varga. Now there's a teammate, Janszik. A great job by the defenders this time. Mezei, three against three. And Dina Schwarga. It is sensational center forward movement. One of the best players is Attila Vári, president of the Hungarian Motor Polo Federation, Olympic champion as well, of course, in the tent. And Dinas Varga, of course, not a classic center forward, but this movement is perfect. As if we would see. Balázs Hárai or Tamás Mezei in that position. Universal player. Two goals out of three attempts by the Hungarian captain. And the first exclusion foul in the Hungarian team. It's actually Nina Svarga who leaves the pool for 20 seconds. So, for the first time, six on five on Malta, they are looking for a consolation goal now. But an excellent block by the Hungarians. Norbert Poszniaski preventing the Baltis in scoring their first goal. And now Poszniaski with the ball. Almost halfway through the second quarter. The shot goes wide. Missed the 10 by the Hungarians. 
So half of the task is already fulfilled. They have a 10-goal lead. They need 20-goal victory, remember. Only five seconds after the shot clock. They are very far away from the Hungarian goal. And the lob shot. And that's save number one by Viktor Nagy in this game. Not a bad attempt by Andreas Galea, the player of St. Julian in Malta. But in the end, it was Nagy who managed to save that. And there's goal number 11. So, with three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second quarter, it's Isilad Janšik who makes it 11 to nil for Hungary. Now, Gergő Zalánki, Márton Vámos, Zoltán Pó, Isilad Janšik, Dines Varga, the captain, Tamás Mezei, and Shoma Fogel, all the players of the Hungarian champion and the Champions League title holder Ferenc Város, a team which uh, managed to win nine titles in a row, including Hungarian national championships titles, Hungarian Cup titles, Champions League, before that the Euro Cup, the Len Euro Cup as well, Len Super Cup, and Hungarian Super Cup. Inside the last three minutes. No foul on the center forward. Still an 11 goal gap between the two teams. Janšik. And Grixi. That's a great save. Save number four by the Maltese goalkeeper. And there's an exclusion foul. It's Janšik who will leave the pool and the team timeout called by the Maltese head coach, Karl Itzo. Wait, wait, Morel, go on one, go on one. Shall look for Barra, all right? Jeremy, huh? Huh? go post. All right, all right, normal, normal, all right, all right. Mala, hey, hey. One, it's Morel, it's Morel, it's Morel. Jordan, all right, hey, yeah, post. All right, Jeremy. Oroch, Andrea, Soroch. Hey, he found with Tohin, huh? Hey, number four, he found with Tohin. Hey, hello, hello. So that's going to be a six on five for Malta after this uh, timeout. Zilad Janšik with his first personal foul. And Monata is still yet to score in this match. And the captain, Steven Camilleri. The Belgrade top goal scorer of the European Championships. Matthew Samit. And Victor Nagy with the latest save. Two attempts at his goal so far and two brilliant saves by the Hungarian goalkeeper. Actually, good goalkeeping performance so far by Grixti as well, who does his best. But there's a lob shot, and that's a tricky goal for Hungary. And it's once again the captain, Vines Varga, who finds the back of the net. 12-0 for Hungary. That's a great counter-attack by the host team. Victor Knight also like that. 35 years of age already. Victor Knight, the goalkeeper of Solnok. Kuzem. 
It's a free throw for Mata. No foul on the center forward. Jeremy Abela. Vamos. Zanaki. We are heading for the last minute of the second quarter. Yeah, a turnover foul, no exclusion foul. The Hungarians fought. It could be a man up, but the Maltese have the possession now inside the last minute. So Hungary won the first period by six goals to nil. They are leading by six goals to nil the second one as well. They haven't conceded yet. Jordan Camilleri and Steven Camilleri. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Jordan Camilleri and the lob shot goes wide. And another 30 seconds for Hungary. And the chance for a fast break goal. Zolanki. Now he realizes that could be a great chance for him. And he does it. Gergő Zolanki makes it 13 to nil for Hungary. And he's still on 100% shot efficiency. Actually, it's uh, goal number four out of four attempts by the player of Ferenc Varos. So the Hungarians need seven more goals in case of not conceding, of course. And that looks like a mission possible for them with this uh, high concentration and impressive. that this year so the Hungarians amassed 12 gold altogether a record till date 
but the last one came in 1999. In fact, they won eight of the first ten editions between 1926 and 1962, and ten of the first 14, and only two in the last 19. The last medal came four years ago in Belgrade when they finished as bronze medalists in 2016. And two years ago, a disappointing eighth place finish in Barcelona. They even lost the placement match against Russia on the last day of the tournament. And they won the third swim off as well. Varga gets the call. Mahertz. Now Vamos. And then Isrujin found the first one in the third quarter. The number eight from Moti's team, Jordan Camilleri, with his uh, first personal foul. Vamos. Mohertz. And Varga scores. That's goal number one from Hungary in the third period. It was already 6 and 6. The exclusion was over. But that's all the same for the Hungarians. The point for them is to score as many times as they can, at least. 20 goal margin in the end. That's their goal. And they are still yet to concede. Steven Camilleri. Once again, they are very far away from the Hungarian goal. Marilian Kuzem, five seconds into the shot clock. Another missed chance for Mata. One of the Maltese fans on the stands. And another six on five for Hungary. It's Matthew Semit who has his first major foul. Varga, Zalanki. And Zalanki scores once again. Absolutely amazing performance by Gergő Zalánki. Five out of five, still 100% shot efficiency. One of the best left-handers in the world, Gergő Zalánki. So five goals coming from Zalánki, four by the captain, Dinesh Varga. Two goals from Zoltán Paul and one goal from Márton Vámos, Norbert Hosnyánszky, Szilárd Jansik and Balázs Erdély as well. So it's a 15 goal margin between the teams. And the Hungarians have a really impressive defensive performance so far, but they need to do that, they have to do that in order to qualify for the, for the finals directly. Oh, very unlucky Maltese team this time. The left post saves Viktor Nagy and the Hungarian team. And now uh, Zoltán Paul, the player of Ferenc Város, is pushing forward. They need at least five more goals. In case of not conceding, of course, and that's goal number 16. And goal number three for Zoltán Paul. He also has 100% shot efficiency and it's an action goal for the Hungarians. Sixteen near for Hungary. Now, the Maltese gets the call. It's a free throw once again. And now, turnover foul. Okay. 
Now maybe a chance for a fast break goal, but that could have been a risky pass to Christian Malherz. Now Daniel Onyal with the ball, player of Solnok. The other member of the Solnok team is the goalkeeper, Viktor Nagy. Now the first exclusion in the third quarter. Onyal. And that's a missed shot, a great block by the Maltese. There's been a change in front of the Maltese goal. So Alan Borg Cole has replaced Nicolas King Grixty. Grixty finished the match, or actually finished the second quarter at 23.5% save efficiency. Saving a total of four times. That's a turnover foul already. Still Viktor Nagy in the Hungarian goal. And there's another quick counter attack. Vamos, and he scores. He's second actually in this game, and it's Hungary 17 and Malta Neal. So Zalanki, Vamos, and Paul, all three on 100% shot efficiency so far. And still a very concentrated and motivated Hungarian team. For the disappointment of uh, Karlizzo, of course, the Mortis head coach can't do anything about that. He exactly knows how big the difference is between Hungary and Malta. And as the Hungarians need at least a 20 goal victory here. It's really a difficult task to play against them in front of the home crowd, which supports Hungary as well. The halfway through the third quarter. That's an excellent save by Nagy. Great attempt by the Maltese. At least they still have the possession. And there's an exclusion foul, so now a chance for a consolation goal for Mata. Daniel Angyal with his uh, first major foul. Dino Zamit. Pace. And they give the ball away. Out comes. Viktor Nagy from his goal, and still a 17-goal gap between the two teams. That's save number four by Viktor Nagy. He's still yet to concede, but on the other side, it's goal number 18 from Hungary. Balázs Erdély, for the second time on the score sheet, he scored goal number one for Hungary. After the start of the match. Absolutely no chance for the substitute goalkeeper, Ellen Borg Cole. And the home crowd is chanting the name of Victor Nagy. One of the Biggest fan favorites here among the Hungarian supporters, of course. Steven Camilleri. And another save. And it hurts. Victor Nagy was hit on the face with the ball. And that's a five meter penalty for Hungary. Well, Dina Schwalga, like uh, a world-class center forward in this match, if the situation requires that, and it will be himself who will take this uh, penalty. And he scores. Absolutely no chance for Borg Cole. So, Dina Schwalga has also five goals to his name, just like Gergő Zalanki in the Hungarian team. And they need only one more goal. 
and they will have the required 20 goal margin, 20 goal difference. There's the first choice Maltese goalkeeper, Grixty, already on the bench. Gabaretta, Plumpton. Steven Camilleri and Victor once again. As if it was the final of the European Championships. 100% concentration and fanatism. And save number five by the Hungarian goalkeeper. Now we are inside the last two minutes of this quarter. Six, percent, uh, six uh, seconds left on the shot clock. And the block shot. Six goals coming from the Hungarians in the first period. Seven in the second one. And six so far in the third one. Now five seconds left on the shot clock, and the shot takes a deflection. Another missed attempt by the Maltese, Aurelien Kuzem. Still one minute and 18 seconds remaining on the clock in quarter number three. Varga. RDE. And Mezai with the latest goal, and that's goal number 20. And Hungary is on its way to clinch the first spot. They have now the 20 goal margin. And there's still more than nine minutes to go in this match. It's Zoltan Paul and Christian Malherz on the bench. Now we are heading for the last minute of period number three. Now the Hungarian fans are counting to 20. The signs, of course, the difference, the required difference between the teams. No foul. Only four personal fouls in the Hungarian team, six in the Maltese team. Last 21 seconds in the third quarter. Varga. Janšík. And Zalanki once again. Well, Ellen Borkol is still yet to make a save. Eight attempts at this goal and eight, goal, eight goals coming from the Hungarians since the replacement of a great Steve in the Maltese goal. And it's already 21 to nil for Hungary. 9.8 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Gergő Zalanki still has 100% shot efficiency. Six out of six. This lob shot goes over. Well, 21 goal difference.
points just like the Spanish team. But now they are they have better goal difference. It's plus 34 for them, plus 33 for Spain. Turkey finishes in the third place and they play in the eighth final and Malta we finish this group phase without a single point and we'll only play for the placement 13th to 16th. Also the Falk Simov was won by Hungary, but now a turnover foul. So Kim Malta finally break the deadlock. Jordan Camilleri. Plum Tom. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. And the block shot by Plumpton. The block coming from Christian Malherz. Vamos. The first exclusion foul of the last quarter. Jerome Gabaretta leaves the pool with his first major. Angel and he scores. Another Hungarian field player on the score sheet. Now it's only Christian Mohertz and Bonas Harai has been rested for most of the game. Who haven't managed to score yet. That's a great assist by Mohertz and Anja with the finish. So 22 to nil for Hungary. And that's a good steal. Dina Schwarga, the captain, who pushes forward. And now he's looking for his uh, sixth goal. There it is. Six goals out of seven attempts. And it's goal number 23 for Hungary. Well, actually, this is Zemolta's third participation at the European Championships. They are yet to win a game. They, upon the first try, they avoided of being ranked bottom in Belgrade as they beat Turkey in the penalty shootout after finishing 10 all in regular time in the game from the 15th place. However, it went the other way two years ago in Barcelona when they met again. At this time, the Turks prevailed in the shootout after a 7 all draw in regular time. Still no goals by the Maltese team. Poshnyanski. It's an exclusion from the Maltese team. So six on five once again. And Gabriel Pace is the first player who has more than one personal foul to his name. Kostiansky. And that's another Hungarian goal. And this time, Christian Mahatz manages to score. So he is also on the score sheet. But with the exception of uh, Mara Sharai, all the field players have managed to score at least once. Zalanki scoring six times, just like Dina Schwarga, the captain. Zoltan Paul 
With three goals to his name. Two goals coming from Márton Vámos and Barázs Erdély and one goal from Daniel Angyal, Christian Manherz, Norbert Hosnyanski, Cyril Jansik and Tamás Mezei. Another great tackle, this time by Silad Jansic. Balázs Erdélyi. It looks like they will reach their goal. They finish the first place here in the group and... Despite this miss shot by Sinad Janshik, their 20 goal victory is not in danger. Mahalfei through the last quarter. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Plumpton loses the ball. Now Zalanki pushes forward. Still Zalanki. And no foul. Zirad Jansik was in front of the goal. No call this time by the Serbian referee. Plumptom. Jordan Camilleri. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. And we are heading for the last three minutes of the game. Another steal by Gergő Zalanki. So I don't think uh, Hungary will lose this last almost three minutes by five goal margin. So we can say now, we can confirm now that they're going to clinch the top spot in their group. So they will have a rest day on Monday and will play on Wednesday in the quarterfinals. The two extra rest days for the local team, for the host team. Plumptom. Six seconds left on the shot clock. And Plumptom loses the ball. Now the last two minutes. Erdi. Moherz. Exclusion. Exclusion from Team Alta. Player number 11. Ben Plumpton, the number 11. Is the excluded player, second major foul, and goal number 25 for Hungary. Gergő Zalanki once again for the seventh time on the score sheet in this match. Absolutely the MVP of this game. He hasn't missed the target at all, seven attempts and seven goals. This time, that's, that's the player goal. Not only really happy Maltese fans on the stands, but we can understand that. Jordan Camilleri. And the turnover foul. Erdi. Last minute of the game and Christian Mahertz for the second time. 
in this match manages to find the back of the net. 26 to nil for Hungary. So now we are heading for the last minute, maybe the last chance for Marta to score, the last offensive play. Who's there? Out comes Viktor Nagy. Erdei. Now that's a bad pass this time. And now the Mortis try to score that goal that uh, would be really important for them. Scoring at least once. They have the possession and there's a team timeout called by the Mortis head coach, Carizzo. Andreas, drive, eh? First time, first time. Hey, hey, how did you have a shot? How did you have a shot? How did you have a shot? So there's Barash Harai, who's been arrested for most of the games. Total of 36 Hungarian attempts, and 26 goals out of them. Only 14 attempts by the Maltese, and they haven't managed to score so far. There's their last chance, 23 seconds to go. Jordan Camilleri. And no shot at all, no foul. And there's the final score. It's a perfect match from the Hungarians. They've been concentrated and motivated until the last second. They needed at least a 20.